Hi guys, welcome to my channel. And I know I'm all over the place with with um, devotions and topics, but you know, that's just me. I'm always all over the place. Today I want to talk a little bit about um, opportunities to listen, um, to care, to encourage, to serve, to give, and to tell others about our faith. Um, when those sacred opportunities come and oftentimes we use that tactic called too busy right now. We might say the words out loud or we mostly just say them to ourselves, And then we rationalize it by using a second tactic called I'll make up for it later. I am so guilty of this guys. You think, well, you just imagine yourselves jumping into other similar opportunities. Maybe when things slow down a bit. Um, God knows we're busy. He sees how busy we are, but he still calls us. These sacred opportunities do not come by chance. He places them carefully in front of us. He knows we're busy and he knows what he's doing. He knew what he was doing when he called Simon and Andrew, when the brothers were busy fishing. And he knew what he was doing when he called James and John, when the brothers were mending their nets. And he knew what he was doing when he called Levi, the tax collector. He was busy collecting taxes. He know, knows what he's doing when he calls us to, even when we're busy. He doesn't wait because he knows our time is scarce. He knows that we have no time to waste. John chapter 9 verse 4 says that we must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. Okay, so then what can we do? Well, when was the last sacred opportunity, you guys? What did you do? Is the opportunity still open? If not, take a moment to decide what you'll do the next time a sacred opportunity comes. Commit to stepping into it and making the most precious time that you've been given. E Ephesians 5, 15 and 16 says, see then that you walk circumspectively, not circumspectly, sorry, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. So guys, all I'm trying to say, and this is for me too. And I always say, when I go to work, do my coworkers know that I'm a Christian? Do they know that I'm a follower of, of Christ? If not, then what is wrong with me. I'm not saying you need to Bible thump and be in people's faces, but you should be the light. Uh, you know, you should show the light. You should be that person that can encourage and help someone. They might need you. They might need you. Let's not overlook our opportunities. And like I said, I am speaking to myself. This is a hard topic sometimes for some people. And God bless you guys. And I hope that maybe just right now someone pops in your mind that you have the opportunity to help. God bless you guys. Say your prayers. Have a great day. Bye-bye.